music is uh, the soundtrack of a lot of Filipino people's lives, and uh, yeah, so I just feel really lucky to be here. I'm gonna be playing uh, Young Hector, uh, the Prince of Troy. No, um, the <coughs> Young Hector, <laughs> the one of the three boys uh, in college. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be fun. So I'm just happy to be here. Thanks. How about you, Tanya? Being a central character to the show, uh, what do you think about your? Uh, I play Joy. Um, I'm really, really excited. This is only my second Tagalog, Tagalog uh, musical, and I'm looking forward to it. Because iba talaga eh, iba talaga pag Tagalog eh, iba, iba yung pag-express ng sarili mo. And I'm really, really excited for it. And I grew up listening to the songs of this band. And you love it. Yeah, they're very, they're easy to remember. These songs are so familiar. So now you. You've heard them all. Gia, what about you? Actually, I feel like I'm so excited that I'm so excited that I'm so Stop hitting the back of my shirt, man. <laughs> no, but seriously, also, um, yeah, I'm really feeling those things. And, of uh, course, I feel very thankful and lucky to be part of this. Also because, um, I was so music of Razorheads. I was listening to their songs while they were singing. I was studying how to play the guitar. Yung paano ba yung chords ng pare ko? Ano paano ba yung chords ng magazine? Tapos, parang yun yung nakaduktong yun sa lahat ng mga parang childhood memories ko na parang kasama ng barkada ko na nagbabasketball kami dati, nagbabike, sa village, yung parang ganun. And those are good times in my life. And those are also the times that were very, um, there were big moments like, so the first time ako nagka-crash, yung ganyan. So it really brings so much good memories, which I know a lot of, People, yeah, lahat ng mga Pinoy na kabatch ko at you know, kung sino man din after or before, makakarali din sila sa ganun kasi uh, very, yeah, yun yun eh. Now, without giving uh, away too much of the synopsis, um, can, what do you think uh, our audiences can take away from uh, our show, Ang Gulik El Bimbo? Um, John? I feel like a lot of you have experienced reconnecting with school friends na dalawang dekada nyo hindi nakita. I, well, when you leave your 30s, when you're in your mid-40s, panahon talaga ng ang mga high school or college bash nyo, silver. And then there is this mixed, this basket of mixed feelings, matatakot ba akong pumunta kasi baka ako lang ang hindi mayaman, o baka, pag ako nagpupunta, well, actually, ang yayaman nilang lahat, pero ako lang may hours. <laughs> no, really, but seriously, seriously, I I sometimes hear that this classmate is in an obituary, and uh, it, it's it's that take home sana ng mga tao is my goodness, life is so precious. Your vitamin C, your your oxygen is pagkakaibigan and friendship. Sabi nga nila, friendships made in school, they're like families you created yourself. I have been experiencing that roller coaster, the, that magic of reconnecting with people you knew when you were a very different person. And you see them again, and they are parents, and they are uh, oh, oh, separated, they are priests, they are uh, they are your your uh, people who you could have turned to in you know one of those dark nights of the soul. But I, I think regret is sometimes wasteful. I think and take away John, catch up and look for your friends and reconnect and uh, make and remind yourself of what is truly important. But I think it's a one take away for at least sabi niya ang galing pa lang sumulat ng kanta ng Pinoy. At saka ang galing pa lang ng Pinoy storyteller. Speaking of uh, storytelling, I wanna I have a question for either Dexter or Mike. Um, you know the songs, these songs are so popular and they have a very strong recall. Uh, to them, um, what is what the, what the, what can you say about the challenge of um, reorienting the music in aid of uh, storytelling? Start the music and then don't talk about the sound. The challenge there is very challenging. <laughs> First of all, yeah. Pero um, um, I've been doing this for three years or four years, so God bless me. <laughs> Uh, usually naman I, I I take energy from the scene. So kung ano yung binibigay ng scene, 
yun yung ibibigay ko din. So I don't really, I'm not a slave of the original one. So we retell the story again in a different way, in a in an interesting way. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes. I, I, I think know? that's yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's the operative word. We don't want to be slave to the lyrics. We don't have, want to be a slave to the songs because these songs have been, you've, been, you've heard it from on the radio already. Right? That was, I think we have now an opportunity to translate it live, the theater, into a Pinoy musical. So might as well grab that opportunity to retell new stories, create new contexts. Uh, I mean, find new characters on how to sing it. Change, change the dynamics of it. Uh, I think that's the best thing about about doing a musical based on based on the iconic band songs. Ding dong. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the songs themselves have stories within them. So I, I think one of the challenges then is to bring all of these individual stories together, make one big cohesive story, and yeah, it's a big challenge for me, for us. I think also Siguro just sharing up in terms of, you know, what songs, but there are so many hits kasi eh. So I, I think it, it's not about the hits, but what does the story need in order to tell, what song we use in order to tell that story. Yeah, so that the fourth part of the yes. music selection is uh, the narrative. Yes, yes. Okay. The narrative first before the songs. And I think we're unanimous with that. And that's why we're so excited. So we can't say which songs are going to be there because it might not be there. <laughs> or you know, sometimes, or it might. Or just again, and again, as usual, it's a work in progress. Uh, ding 